A serious crash in Milton, which left three people dead. Halton police say the victims include two teenagers and one man in his 20s. Hadi Zah joins us live with more. Hadi. Good evening, Adam. The crash happened around 3.20 this morning on Derry Road and 6th Line in Milton. Roads were closed for most of the morning as police investigated the incident. A resident in the area shared surveillance footage of the crash. But we must warn you, what you're about to see is disturbing. As you can see, a car is stopped at a red light on Derry Road when it was struck from behind. Halton police say there were three victims. A 16-year-old girl from Brampton and an 18-year-old man from Milton were both traveling together in one vehicle and a 26-year-old man from Milton in another. This is what the scene looked like early this morning. Smoke was coming out of one of the vehicles as police were investigating the fatal collision. I live in Milton for more than 10 years. To me, it's one of the most busiest intersection. I spoke to drivers at a nearby gas station who say Derry Road is a dangerous stretch of road. It doesn't surprise me with all the speeding that goes on the Derry Road and uh, in the side streets. It's just everyone, everyone just seems to drive over speed all the time. Like everyone's always in a rush. Uh, it's 80 kilometers and everybody really speeds. It's a four lane uh, highway right in the middle of the city and uh, people speed very much there all the time. It's a very well heavily traveled area. Drivers are voicing their concern saying that speeding is a real issue, even in a town like Milton. I would say that there's people speeding a lot of the time. Um, daytime, nighttime, uh, it's, it, it happens pretty regularly. Road closures were in effect for most of the morning, spanning from Trafalgar Road to Fifth Line, including the intersection of Derry Road and Sixth Line. Police say they are still investigating and the cause of the crash has not been determined. They say the three victims were pronounced dead at the scene. This is an ongoing investigation. Anyone with information is asked to call police.